Were Jenny Breyer and her friends dressed like 30-something-year-old women, or were we trying to look like teenagers? One of us was sending over Don Perron, while another was touring around New York on a scooter. When you're a teenager, all you want to do is buy beer. Once you hit 30, all you want to do is get carded. I wonder, in today's youth-obsessed culture, are the women of my generation growing into mature, responsible adults, or are we 34 going on 13? After a week of self-imposing, <laughs> Miranda finally felt strong enough for solid food and table service with Lance Bloom, a senior editor at Knopf. Face 
with the idea of having hydraulic cylinders placed in his shaft, Trey decided to pursue the less physically demanding option of couples counseling with a therapist he found through the College Alumni Association. So I sense you're both having difficulty verbalizing your sexual issues. With some clients, I find it's often helps to create your non-threatening language about which you speak about sex. I'm pretty stupid. I'm not sure I understand. <laughs> <laughs> well, for example, one client rather whimsically dubbed his anus the chocolate starfish. <laughs> Quite sure you went to Yale. <laughs> Charlotte, if you could rename your vagina something non-sexual, something that you didn't feel threatened to you or Trey, what would you call it? Rebecca. Rebecca. <laughs> Why on earth would you? Where did you come up with that? <sighs> you know, it's my mother's name. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Something with positive connotations. Well, Troy loves to sail, don't you, Trey? That's true. <laughs> <laughs> loves to sail. Well, so how about something like canoe? Canoe? Canoe doesn't go with Rebecca. Well, what then? Uh, how about Sinbad? Uh, Captain Hook? Wonderful beginning that you have going on. Um, there's still a lot of work ahead. Some here, some at home. At home. Uh, so tonight is homework. I want you to lie down together, side by side, no touching, and share a sexual fantasy. <laughs> A prince in disguise. That's when you pull me off my unicorn. <laughs> you tear away my gossamer petticoats. You put your schooner deep inside Rebecca and you poop on my face. <laughs> Surgeon, I, I can't. Oh, yes, you can. I know you can. Look, Charlotte, we, we dealt with this. I, I, we've dealt with this for weeks. Just accept the fact that I'm not that sexual a person, all right? But we love each other and we're married now. <laughs> Rebecca and Schooner belong together. They need each other, please. <laughs> you are a fairy princess. You are. You really are a fairy. I don't do <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Trey makes some melodramatic exit. <laughs> that night, Wade and I had our very first sleepover at my place. I finally figured out what made Power Lad so powerful. He had the soul of a teenage boy and the body of a very grown-up man. <laughs> <laughs>